guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on planners, specifically my university planner. Now I have three different planners. Um, ages ago I showed you when all my planners were like in one planner and it worked for a little while but then it didn't work very well because like I was struggling to carpentment. Struggling to split up my life. <laughs> So um, now I have um, my everyday planner which is like for kind of social events, you know things like weddings and if I'm meeting up with friends or whatever um, and kind of like Dave's, um, my husband's schedule. Um, and then another one is my blog planner. Now my everyday planner is still the file effects that I was in in my last planner video which I'll link above. Um, and then um, my blog planner is uh, from a company called Personal Planner um, and I shall link the website below because it's a really, really, really good, decent planner. I love it. Um, and then I have another planner which I'm going to show you today which is my university planner and this is a file of flax. File of flax? File of fax. <laughs> And um, I nickname all of my like things, like literally everything, and I named this one Tiggy after Mrs. Tiggy Winkle um, because I shall show you why later. So we are gonna go to the desk, which is over there, and um, I'm gonna open her up so that you can have a look to see how I organised my time when I was at university. So this is my uni planner and um, it's the Farlofax Finchley which unfortunately they don't do anymore, it's discontinued but I was very lucky that I found this on eBay because I really 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 wanted this style. It is so so soft, it's um, like a, a kind of like a leopard, like leopard, snake skin sort of um, leather, that's why I said leopard is because of le -le -le leather um, and then um, yeah, I bought this second hand, so it is quite um, scuffed up, like there's a big scuff here. And then I think someone put their tea or coffee mug on there, because there's like a circle there. Um, yeah, but I, I love it. I put a little charm on it, which I got from... Um, uh, a subscription box. Um, I've got an unboxing for that, so I'll link that up there somewhere. Um, yeah, it's a, a popper closure, which I, I love, I think it's probably the best sort of closure. The other one I've got is like a elastic um, band sort of closure that you've got like a, a button there and then you kind of s switch it around which is which is okay but I prefer the popper one. And this is why I nicknamed her Tiggy, Mrs Tiggy Winkle because I bought a, um, a dashboard from um, Anna Brim and um, Mrs Brimbles, um, which is absolutely lovely. I love it. It's a little cute little hedgehog. Um, so the way that I use my planner was I use a colour coding system. But before I get into that, I thought I'd show you what's in here. I've got um, colour coded post-its for different things. Um, that was more for sort of revision sort of stuff than to stick in my planner though. Um, this is a really cool idea that I came up with as well. I had help a little bit, but <laughs> I mainly come up with the idea. Um, and this is my what book. And when I was in a lecture, what I used to do is if there was anything that I was like, what, I don't understand what that is, then I used to write it in this book. And there's a few things that I've still got in there. Um, yeah, so if there was anything that I was literally just like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what they're talking about, then I wrote it in this book. And then I'd later on have a look in that book and type it into the old Google or have a look in um, a book. Um, in my last planner video, I talked about glue dots and I've got a few, yeah, I've got like um, a pack of glue dots there, which um, just go in this pocket here. And then I have this really cute paper clip from, I think I bought it, I bought it from Monsoon, um, but I think you can get it in accessorize as well. And it's um little reindeer one, which I thought was really cute. So I thought, yeah, getting that, I'll go with this little brown planner I've got. So 
All right, now we're going to go in. So we've got my dashboard, which is really cool. Um, I stuck like post-its on here as well, if there's anything that I needed to do um, there. And then um, this is my to-do list. So this was my like sort of um, general to-do list. I mean, if I couldn't think of what to do that day, then I'd just look at this to-do list. So like I've got um, lecture notes, so writing uh, lecture notes, edit my recordings because I record all of my uh, lectures um, revision slash what book so that's going through the what book and um, finding things that I don't understand um, coursework and lab work because obviously I was doing a chemistry degree so I had a lot of like lab notes to catch up with and stuff um, then I've got um, time management and um, organization um, so going through my plan and making sure that I know what I'm doing um, and I've got my project which um, in um, I did a four-year degree and in my fourth year I had to do quite a big project where I kind of basically did everything myself um, and um, yeah, so that was quite important because that's quite a big chunk of my whole degree. Um, then revision notes. So lecture notes and revision notes are different. So lecture notes, I would listen um, to the lectures and make like additional notes, whereas revision notes, that's more kind of like targeting areas that I know is going to be in the exam. So um, and then writing the same thing and practicing the same thing over and over and over again and then um, that one's kind of like a weekly thing at the end of the week I would kind of look at what I was doing and making sure that I was kind of progressing quite nicely so that's a progress review um, then I wrote this little quote on um, uh, the back of that card this is a project life card by the way um, and um, it's something that me and my mum just kept saying to each other because um, my mum was like struggling with exam stuff as well because she's a teacher and um, so we just kept saying just keep swimming to each other which is a quote from Finding Nemo um, Dory says that um, then on this side, this is just um, like a file of facts paper and I put um, a Kath Kidson label at the top um, with module codes and deadlines. So I, I had a lot of modules that I had to do and they all had different codes. So I got my project. If you're wondering where number two is, number two is a different module that I don't do. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, different modules but one three four five and six and then these were all the different modules that I was doing um, and then like these are deadlines that I had and I just used an unreasonable pen uh, which I don't have in the loop probably because I've been using it for something else um, but yeah I had an erasable pen in that loop and then um, I would write down a deadline then rub it out once it had been handed in and there's a few that I've already done um, this side um, of that sheet is contacts of lecturers that I had um, the main one really was my project supervisor he was the one that I was in contact the most because obviously I was doing my project and I needed his advice um, then I have two different to-do lists so I have a master to-do list which is usually like I'll set out a piece like pieces of coursework like here is this like three bits of coursework I had to do um, and then I'd just tick off sections once I'd done them. Um, and again, that was in a raisable pen, so I could just erase it and start all over again. Then um, this side was my project to-do list. So this is all the different things that I had to do for my project, which I'm all done now, all finished with uni, so don't have to do any of that anymore. Um, then this is um, a colour-coded task sheet, which, to be honest, like I only used like half of this sort of stuff um half of these sort of color coding things so then i had like reading um i have a note taker that takes my notes for me so read his notes uh read textbooks um uh, revision which was um to listen to the exam uh listen to the um revision the lecture um then write down the information that I had in the lecture and then do an exam paper um, and then then I had um, edit lecture recordings um, coursework if I had a coursework deadline due project stuff which to be honest that one I used almost all of the yellow <laughs> dots uh, what book and then uh, deadlines which is in gold so I've got red blue uh, like dark blue green pink orange yellow light blue and then gold for deadlines then um this page is just blank um I suppose I could have decorated it or something but 
I just didn't really feel like it. And then I've got my 2015 calendar. Now these um, stickers are from Paper Chase. They had like a um, really cute calendar line. So um, I bought these and they are really, really cute. Um, yeah, so I've got January, February, March, all the way through the year, really. Um, but then my year actually ended like um, sort of like the end of June. Um, not the end of June, end of May, I meant to say, end of May, it kind of, um, my, uh, university ended at around about the end of May, so, um, yeah, and, um, I'll be starting again in September with a different uni degree course, which will be fun, um, then this page here, like, um, this is what all of the, um, my degree total would be if this was all kind of maths I did to find out what percentage I would need to get what I needed at the end of it and then we start with the actual planner bit actual timetable bit which um, I use a dodo pad which I think is brilliant for this kind of thing um, I've just kind of skipped ahead to really good pages here so um this was like a typical sort of week for me so with the dodo you get like really funny little maybe stories or jokes or whatever then you get obviously the week in on one page in squares and it gives you plenty of space to write around which i i love that um the only criticism I would say is that, like, I wish you could choose how many boxes because I found that I either had too many or too little. I can't remember which one it was, but um, it was... But apart from that, I love these. I think they're great. Um, love the colours, love the jokes and um, the kind of layout of it. And the thing that I would say is that I wish I didn't have Saturday and Sunday either, but hey-ho. Because I would try and avoid doing work on a Saturday and a Sunday just because I'd like to have my weekends free, but... Never mind. Um, yeah, so this these are kind of like typical weeks that I had. Some are a bit blanker than others. Like this one here was a bit crazy. I had three deadlines in a row, which I think is ridiculous, but never mind. <laughs> and then the next week I had two deadlines, so that's a bit crazy. But um, yeah, this is kind of a typical week. So all my lectures started this week. Um, I even put things like if I was, because my dad works at the same university that I attended, um, not the same um, course though, he's in a completely different department to me. But um, even that kind of thing, like lunch with my dad, because he was um, looking through some proofreading for me. Um, um, and then, yeah, another one. Um, this is kind of a typical sort of week again. Um, I've got, like, notes from a lab that I attended because I forgot my notebook that day, but I remember my planner, so there you go. Um, again, I didn't do any colour coding here. I didn't think I started it yet. Um, and then, here we go, colour coding. So I had a load of um, recordings to catch up on. I had 23 altogether that I needed to do, so it was a bit crazy. Um, then I've got project stuff as well, and then these are all lectures um even things like my uni friend i owed him some money so i wrote that down and then this was all the names of the lectures that i had that week um i would put these little stickers as well calendar stickers just to remember what month it was kind of dates and stuff then again this is a typical week so lots of things going on that one's a little bit more sort of um blank but still like quite busy again quite busy lots of projects and recordings to do deadline there you know so this is kind of typical sort of oh that was quite we um blank there because i i had two deadlines so it was a little bit sparse but yeah so that's kind of um sometimes i decorate them sometimes i wouldn't depending like this is when the easter holiday started so i fancied decorating the easter holidays which um just because I had a lot of um, planning to do. Um, that's a quote from um, uh, Moulin Rouge, one of my favourite films. Um, so yeah, and then it was sort of back to, to work, a deadline there. That was um, that was actually when I handed in. I handed it in two days early, but that was when my um, dissertation, my project was due in. So there was a lot of work done beforehand. So yeah, then we kind of make it to the back of the planner. They've kind of got... Um, yeah, so you, every week has got kind of like a sort of like a blank page then followed by a timetable. This is like way in advance. So it's like July, August, August, August. So it goes all the way up until the end of August, it looks like. Yeah, end of August. Um, then it has like this kind of thing, like boxes. I suppose it's just so that you can transition from one planner to another. Um, and then you've got a forward planner there, which is quite useful. Um, 
for different dates and things. Then I had module information that I ha um, needed to know at the back. So um, this is all like information about the professors and um, different things. And then I have the course, different coursework that I had. And then um, reading, like suggested reading they'd ask us to do. Um, same on this side. There was a, like a few more sheets, but I just kept those in just, just to show you what I've been doing. And then because I was doing chemistry, I have got a periodic table at the back which was very useful especially in lectures when they asked us a question about a certain element and I was like I can't remember that so um, that was really useful then at the back of this planet oops the bookmark's gone on the floor I picked that up in a minute um is a zip pocket which I absolutely love it's so useful and I just kept all of my color coding stickers at the back so there's all my gold ones um and then I've got all the if I can get them out all the coloured ones there as well and then I have some extra glue dots just in case you never know you might need some more so um, that's all of those and then I'll show you the bookmark that I made which I'm going to do a tutorial on this channel um, let me know at the bottom if you'd like me to do a tutorial on this but I probably will anyway but um, I made <laughs> Let's pick it up. I made a um, bookmark, a planner bookmark, out of a Project Life bookmark, which, um, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than what the Project Life um, bookmarks are usually like. And then, obviously, the holes are slightly different. But, um, yeah, so I punched holes in them and then um, cut it to the right size so that... and then done slits so that they can just fit in like that. And then I put a label at the top saying, this week... And they're just so much better than the handmade ones that I used to do because the, I found that with the ones that I did with card and then laminated would just fall to pieces eventually. Whereas these have, because they're plastic, they're just ideal, just ideal. So yeah, and I chose this kind of grey colour because they didn't really have like a brown or they had a yellow, but it didn't really go. It was quite a bright yellow, so it didn't really go with this. So yeah that was my university planner that's how I kept organized at university I used a dodo pad I'll link all of the products that I used if they're still available um, obviously this planner has been discontinued but I'm sure you could probably find it somewhere thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed if you did then make sure you hit that like button and um, subscribe if you're new if you've um, not seen any more videos before then uh, check out my channel because I've got a ton of videos that you could look at and um, yeah I shall see you in my next video bye guys On the